Zooger, Q Ranger, Tokuger, and Lupin Ranger versus Paddle Ranger. Four of the most anticipated Super Sentai series that the Power Rangers fandom want to be adapted into Power Rangers. What if I were to tell you that those four Super Sentai series have the potential to be adapted in the 30th season of Power Rangers? Are you interested? Because I am. Let's talk about it. And remember, you're in the zone, the superhero zone. Cue intro. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Superheroes 101 where the superheroing is never done. My name's Xavier and I'll be your host. And today you heard from the beginning what we're going to be talking about in this video. So let's not prolong this any longer and let's get right into the video. But before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you get notifications when I go live, premiere, or all around just upload a video onto this channel. So yeah guys, also before we get into the video, make sure you drop a comment telling me what your favorite Power Rangers se season is so that we can have a little conversation and debate down in the comments down below. So yeah, let's get right into this video. Super Sentai, the godfather of Power Rangers. What Power Rangers is? Power Rangers is nothing but a Japanese adapted American TV show. In Super Sentai, in Power Rangers history, we've had a partnership with a company called Toei. Toei is the brand that gave us the opportunity to adapt Super Sentai and make it into the Power Rangers show we love and know today. But Hasbro recently split from Toei as of a rumor from the Illuminati, and we've seen the effects of that in the Hasbro Power Rangers new expanded universe that they recently announced. So yeah, so we're thinking as a Power Rangers fan that we're never going to see our fan favorite uh, Sentai suits as Power Ranger suits ever again. But that is not the case. According to this Illuminati article that just uh, came out last night, what it came out Friday night, it's Friday night, Saturday night, whenever, uh, it came out one of those nights and basically the Illuminati article said that Hasbro purchased all the rights of Super Sentai up to about Ryu Soldier. So yeah, if you don't know what Ryu Soldier is, Ryu Soldier is what Dino Fury is, but in Japan and very different than what we're seeing Dino Fury today. And that's big. For Power Rangers. So four of the most anticipated Super Sentai seasons that we, we as Power Rangers fans have wanted to see in the Power Rangers universe are Zooger, Tokuger, Q Ranger, and Lupin Ranger vs. Power Ranger. Now, if this rumor is true according to the Illuminati, we're going to be getting those four seasons in either comics, which are canon to the Power Rangers show universe, or we're going to be getting them in the form of a short TV show. Yes, that's right, a short TV show. So you guys in the Power Rangers fandom have obviously heard that in 2023, the new Power Rangers movie or a new project that is Netflix exclusive is supposed to come out in 2023, right? As of Friday, the Illuminati has informed us about a possible new Super Sentai adaption. And yeah, so it's up in the air what this new Sentai adaption is going to be. Um, and we're in between the four teams that I just ex that I just said. So yeah, we really don't know. But we did get a character description for one of the characters, and this character's name and backstory is meant to change. This backstory and name is basically for the actors going into audition for the parts. So this is the only character des description that we got is for a character named Yen, a character who has always been good at school until her father died and then she had it's been all downhill from there for her and I'm paraphrasing by the way and yeah so the principal is hot on her tail and she's once again late for class so yeah that's a character description for one of the characters everybody's like oh is it pink is it white is it a green ranger and we're we, as the other side of the Power Rangers fandom, are speculating, what if this is the Red Ranger? What if this is the Red Ranger from Jonathan Etwistle's rumored universe that has been talked about for a while? So, a couple months back, more than a couple months back, like six months back, a script for Jonathan Etwistle's universe was recently leaked. And after that, a couple months later, it was confirmed that that was a real script, but they scrapped the ideas. What if this... 2023 series with this character description of Yen is a kind of like 
a uh, leak to that potential female uh, Red Ranger. I'm personally for a uh, female lead. I love Lauren Sheba. She is one of my favorite Rangers of all time. She did a wonderful job. Personally, I think she did better than Jaden, but that's a whole nother video. So, yeah. Also, the article went on to say that a uh, casting outlet from Brazil let out the casting script and basically it gave information about how this new Power Rangers project set to air in 2023 will be taking the actors that are picked for the sp specific roles and be filming with them for five to six weeks. And everybody in the Power Rangers fandom was like, because Power Rangers usually takes two and a half years to film two seasons. It's a, it takes a long time to film the Power Rangers seasons. So think back to Ninja Steel, right? The beginning of Ninja Steel, right? Ninja Steel is airing, right? Those actors were still filming season two. And a year prior to that, they were filming that first season that we were just getting to view when those actors were filming season two. And to see that Hasbro is going to film this new series in a month and two weeks is kind of crazy which makes me think that this is going to be another anniversary season and by anniversary season I mean in every episode we're going to be getting a cameo appearance from a new Power Rangers guest each episode aiding the Rangers into battle and other stuff like that so yeah and one thing I wanted to mention if that is about they're going with the anniversary season with rehiring pa uh, past Power Ranger actors to star in this show. I feel like that's a good idea because no anniversary season has been ambitious to do that. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to do that because we're not doing a full, uh, sent full on Sentai adaption like uh, Dino Fury or Beast Morphers again. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring in all the Power Rangers universes and make a better established multiverse plotline because we already have a Power Rangers multiverse already with the comics in the show. The comics in the show are like this. They are linked. They are a multiverse. And why not have a show like this 2023 show be that other glue that binds everything together? Because currently, one, the season that glues the show in the comic universes together and melds them into one is Power Rangers Hyperforce. You've heard me talk about Hyperforce for the last couple of videos. It's because Hyperforce is really a good season. Again, I will link it down in the description and comments below. You need to go watch it because it links all of the Power Rangers comics and series together. It is a an official canon Power Rangers RPG uh, show. Mind you, each episode is like two to three hours long, so like I would give yourself a month to finish it if you watch a video if you watch an episode every month. Uh, so yeah, uh, and I feel like in this new series, possibly Power Rangers Hyperforce can make a cameo appearance because from the sound of this new series, I don't think we're going to be using any Sentai footage. So that could be, that would be very amazing because Power Rangers is notorious for using Sentai footage to cut corners and it really shows in the episodes and no, no hate, no tea, no shade. Like I don't. I don't hate on Power Rangers at all for doing it because you, you do what you do what you got to do. Um, but it would be great to see a new Power Rangers series basically with no Super Sentai footage but using the Sentai suits. So yeah guys, tell me what you think about this new 2023 series for Power Rangers down in the comments below. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I go premiere, go live, or all around post on this channel and i just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and yeah guys be sure to leave your comments down below and i post mondays wednesdays and fridays for those of you who are interested and yeah i hope to see you at my next upload and if you want more content from me you're gonna have to wait till my next video and remember you be kaye let's rock <laughs>